It's interesting how the idea of stand-up grew. Because when I was young, there was no stand-up. Well, there wasn't. And as a matter of fact, I mean, Jerry Seinfeld said this thing, which I, th I agree with. He said, in 1975, there were 40 comedians, and eight of them were good. <laughs> in, in 1985, yeah. there were 4,000 comedians, and eight of them were good. <laughs> <laughs> And I think it's true. He told me not to go to the universities. I got an early, an early uh, yeah. warning of that. He said, don't go because they're looking to be offended. And Chris Rock said that to me yeah. as, well, as well. And he, we just, you, you don't go to those anymore. So I do think, though, I've had people come to the show that I think specifically want, like with Sam Kennison, I saw people who had paid to see him yeah. to get up and walk out <laughs> as if to make a statement. Really? Yeah. I thought the whole point of that was that they, if, they, if they hate you, they don't buy tickets. So yeah. the audience is pre-selected to like what you do. So I, I think don't so. have people walking out. But the, I think you do, though. I think in the 1970s, a very interesting feature for uh, society and for individual communication between people <laughs> and friends was, don't be so uptight. It's just, yeah. right, don't be so yeah. uptight. Yeah. And now it's, how uptight can you get? Yeah. I think you can get more uptight. I think you should be offended by that, because I am. <laughs> yes. How, you're not off I'm offended that you're offended. I'm offended that you're not offended that I'm offended that you're not offended. <laughs> you know? And I do think that that is um, in play. I don't know where it's going to go. But the interesting thing is, in the old days, you offended people on the right. Yes. Right? Yeah, absolutely. They were the old uh, sort of soldiers and all those kind yeah. of people, or the, the ones who were very, very historic in, in that kind of uh, orientation. Yeah. They were the ones who walked out. I remember Peter Cook telling me when he had a club here called The Establishment, yeah. and he was doing a show one day, and he finally made a joke about cancer, and there was a table, and the man got up and said, right, that's it, cancer, <laughs> out everyone, and their family all left like that. Wow. He was waiting for that. Now most of the offences are on the left. It is true. I, I think that you have the offense, to, to be honest, I think it's like they're both at their extremes, back to back, thinking and being the same way. Whether it's the left, you're here, and they're complaining about something, and it's not too far removed from the right on this side complaining, but they are back to back and complaining. But I do think the left is, it's coming from a place of, um, it's an intolerance, but it's dressed up as manners. Uh, yes, it's as, certainly uh, intolerant, because what I, what I think I, I don't understand about them is, do, do they have, genuine, do they have a sense of humor? I think so, but I think it's uh, intellectualized to where they, they, can't, they, they can't find themselves laughing. It has to be okayed, because it could look badly upon them. If they did laugh. Yeah, there's this kind of, oh, well, yeah. as, uh, as our good friend Andrew Doyle talks about it, there's this, this certain uh, righteousness about it that it has to be, and as it's a, you know, it, it is very much a fundamentalist form of thinking. It's a closed system of thought. Yeah, that's right. And you, if you if you um, step outside of that, then you're a heretic, and you're you're outside the system. And so I think that they desperately want to be in in that ideology, no matter how crazy it gets, no matter how lunacy it gets. And it starts off with a very good idea. Yes. Which is let's be kind to people. Right. Right. Well, yes, and it, well, the, as a matter of fact, I mean, who would want to be anti-fascist? I mean, they sure dress it up nicely, don't they? It's like, <laughs> you don't want to be an anti, who is an anti-fascist? I'm, I'm, I'm anti-fascist, so who would, who's for Hitler? I mean, who was, <laughs> you know, right. and it's like. Who isn't? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, the, um, the woke I idea, and who's, it seems like it's, it's, it's social justice. Who is, who's against, are you against social justice? No, I'm not, why would I be? But it's interesting, because for someone who's of a mixed race, I think, well, how, if I, my white part is suppressing my Asian part, <laughs> how much and where? <laughs> Look, there's two types of teasing. There's nasty teasing, yeah. and then there's affectionate teasing. Like you and me, when we see each other, it's a barrage yeah. of insults. And it's yes. a kind of compliment, because what I'm saying to you is, you know that I love you, so I can yeah. say these terrible things to you, but <laughs> yeah. it's the truth that I love you, because I'd never say them to you if I didn't. Right, it exactly. It would be rude. It yes. would be. And as a matter of fact, it's that kind of affection that says, I, I trust you, and yes. I trust you that I can be me, yes. and that there's no harm intentions. That's there's nothing it. harm intent. 